So you want to buy that new cine lens or that new microphone or that new camera body. I'm here to tell you, go ahead, make that purchase, but wait after you watch this video because I want to make sure you're buying it for the right reason. What's up guys, my name is Dax Brule, welcome back to another video. And we've all been a victim of it, you know, gear orgasms, you get deeper and deeper by buying new gear, buying new gear, buying new gear, you're always excited, you love new buying, getting new gear is like, oh, let's go, new gear. But it's time to snap out of it, guys. We need to make sure we're buying gear for the right reasons. Sometimes gear slows down the learning process and slows down your creativity. First, ask yourself, why are you buying this piece of gear? Is it because there's something that you literally can't perform or can't do without this piece of gear? For example, you're trying to shoot or you have to shoot a club for a client and you don't have a lens with a low enough f-stop. You can rent that piece of gear or you can buy that piece of gear that has a super low f-stop and then you have that lens and you're able to shoot that club. Unlike if you had a super high f-stop lens, you wouldn't be able to shoot that club or it'd be very tough to shoot that club without having very ugly looking footage. Or is it because you wanna be like someone? Do you see Sam Colder, Peter McKinnon, just got the new 1DX Mark II or just got the new EOS R and you're like, oh, I wanna be like them. And so you go ahead buy that piece of gear that's the former is not right you don't want to be buying gear to be like people you don't want to be trying to push yourself to be like other people because that's really not the point of gear the gear is just going to be a tool for your creativity and what makes these people these people sam colder and peter mckinnon is their skills it's not the gear they've used obviously the gear will make their video look a lot better because it's higher quality gear but it doesn't make them what their true storytelling and their true video passion is it's, it's it has nothing to do with that so make sure you're buying gear for the right reasons so when i like to buy a new piece of gear i like Take a step back, just push everything back, look around and say, okay, do I need this piece of gear to create what I want to create? Let's say you're, oh, I wanna start a YouTube channel. Do you need a camera, a DSLR camera to start a YouTube channel? You do not, you have your phone. So really think about it. Do you really need that piece of gear? Is it really essential? Here, I'm just trying to save you people bucks because I've made the mistake myself. Back in, before I went on my trip, I dropped $4,000 on an EOS R. When it came out, it was very expensive and with I financed it myself too. And I completely regret making that decision because I really didn't need that camera to create the content I wanted to create on my trip. I had my phone, I had an old camera, 77D. So think about it. Do you really need that piece of gear to create the piece of content you wanna create? Or is it just because you think that you need that piece of gear? create the content you want to create. Gear stunts growth, people. Gear stunts growth because people focus on the wrong type of quality. Quality is storytelling. Quality is a message, a, a power, a emotion you see through a video. Quality is not the quality of your video. People love film photos nowadays, but those are the most unquality, you know, grainy looking things you've ever seen in your life. But it's a quality image because it has emotion, it has pull in it. When you see a film photo, you feel that nostalgia in it. Quality is not always the quality as, you know, pixel size and things like that. Quality is your storytelling, your emotion, and how you convey the message you're trying to convey through your video. So I just wanted to make sure you guys are buying gear for the right reasons. In the end, gear has nothing to do with the end all product. You know, creators have created amazing things with entry level cameras, while people with over too much gear can't create anything because they're killed by how much choices they have to make. So I'm not saying here to say, don't buy that new lens, don't buy that. I'm here to make sure you guys are buying it for the right reasons. So listen to this video again if you need to. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Question of the day for you guys, what is the piece of gear that you most recently bought? What was the last piece of gear you bought? Comment below. I would love to know. And also, if you guys want to know any of the gear that I use, link in bio, my whole gear list is going to be there. You guys can check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gently tap that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. New videos coming out every week. Creators, keep creating. Peace.